number 33, to which homologous series does the following structure belong? Now, when you look at the structure, we see a C double bond O, OH group. That functional group belongs to the carboxylic acids. So we know that the answer is A. Thirty-four. Which of the following is the name of the compound CH3, CH2, 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 OH? So we look and count the number of carbon atoms. One, two, three, four. So we, we are looking at a butanol. The OH group is an alcohol group, and we see where the alcohol group is on carbon atom number one. So we have one butanol and GD is our answer. 35 to 36 refers to the reactions shown here. Number 35, which which of the con conversions above correctly represents the dehydration of ethanol? Now, when ethanol undergoes dehydration, it forms ethene, C2H4. So, C is our answer. 36. Which of the conversions above requires manganate 7? That's KMNO4. When ethanol reacts with KMNO4, we get ethanoic acid, and that's A. Thirty-seven to thirty-eight refers to the equation which shows an organic acid plus an alcohol given an ester plus water. The forward reaction is known as so organic acid plus alcohol give ester plus water. That is a forward reaction. The formation of esters is known as esterification. And so our answer is C. 38. The reverse reaction is known as. So we have an ester reacting with water to give back alcohol and organic acid. And that's called hydrolysis. So our answer is B. 39. Cracking is a process of breaking down. Now, during cracking, long chain carbon hydrocarbons are broken down into smaller hydrocarbons, shorter chain um, alkenes and alkenes, so our answer would be A. 40 refers to the equation which shows a carboxylic acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to give us salt plus water. Now when an acid reacts with a base we get salt plus water. That's called a neutralization reaction. So our answer is B. 41. An organic substance when reacted with bromine water decolorizes it immediately. The substance is most likely an. So, which substance decolorizes bromine water? You know that alkenes um, have a double bond which can add um, halogens. So bromine is a halogen. So there is an addition reaction, the bromine leaves out of the solution and so the solution becomes colorless. So alkenes C. 42. Glucose is converted to starch or cellulose by 
Now when glucose reacts with itself, or when molecules of glucose react with each other, we get a condensation reaction. So that is a condensation polymerization. That's D. 43 compounds in a homologous series. You know that they are similar in chemical molecular formula. Sorry, they do not exist in the same state. They don't possess the same molecular formula. They differ by a CH2 group. That's true. So that's C. 44. Ethene reacts with hydrogen chlorine and hydrogen chloride. These reactions are all examples of. Ethene is a, an alkene, so it, these, all these substances can add across the double bond. So therefore, the reaction is an addition reaction. That's A. 45. Which of the following substances is not a polymer? Nylon is a polymer, protein is a polymer, fructose is a monosaccharide, so that's out. Cellulose is a polymer, so our answer would be C. 46. Which of the following methods is used for the extraction of aluminum? Aluminum is extracted from aluminum oxide, alumina by electrolysis so it would be A number 47 which of the following statements about sulfur are true it is used in the vulcanization of rubber yes that's true it is used in the extraction of iron from iron ore that's false it is used in the manufacture of explosives that's true so 1 and 3 are true so our answer is B 